What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Joel with Motors of Mischief. Today we are working on this 2000 uh, Chevy S10. We're going to be putting a fuel pump into it. So um, there's a couple different ways you can do this. You can drop the tank um, or you can pull the bed. And uh, from our experience, it's a lot easier to pull the bed. So here's the truck that we're working on. It is a ZR2 edition. Pretty sweet. And uh, we're just going to go ahead Pull that bed off. We've got a brand new uh, Delphi fuel pump to go into it. And I uh, believe that's the ones that were in it from the factory. So I believe we're putting the uh, correct factory pump back into it. But either way, it's a highly rated pump and it uh, should work out great. So let's go ahead and get this bed pulled and uh, we'll show you how to replace that pump. All right, guys, before we get to the video, I just want to show you another one of our brand new shirts. This one is Dr. Torx. So it's got the Motors and Mischief logo on the chest and it's got Dr. Torx garage on the back. It's a vintage grunge style shirt, so you'll see it's a little faded when you get it. Um, we've been testing these. They fit really nice. They're super comfortable. We've run them through the wash a couple times to make sure that they don't shrink and that the writing doesn't come off. So far, so good. They seem pretty awesome. So um, this is a large, so they do, they are um, tight fitting. They're not tight fitting, but you know, it, uh, it kind of hugs your, your muscles if you've got them or your, you know, whatever you got, it'll hug it. So, all right. Um, Hope you guys like these. You can check them out on our website, link below. All right, so here's our new pump. Got that sucker off of uh, Rock Auto, where we get uh, most everything that we don't get off of eBay. So um, right here, nice new pump. And uh, we'll go ahead and show you guys how that gets that goes in. Okay, so you can see the beds on these things are held in with multiple bolts. Um, I believe it's four, but it might be six. So we will go ahead and let you know exactly how many there are. We're gonna start with these two in the back. You can see that's the, uh, let's see, where are we? There's the axle looking forward, spring perch, and there's the bolts. So um, we'll go ahead and start pulling those out. We'll work our way forward and uh, let you guys know how many, let you guys know how many we end up with all together. Okay, so it turns out that there are six bolts. So there's one right there, and there's another one right there. And you can just follow that up from the bed or the cab and then uh, you're gonna get that one and then right here next to this strut that holds up the fender there's another one right there so um, we do have six all together so we're gonna go ahead and pull those we got the back two out we're gonna pull those front two all right so <clears throat> there are eight bolts uh, to take this bed off so well we'll, sh we'll show you again when the bed's off so you can see them easier but they are the one in the back that we showed you there's one right up here and then those two at the front that we showed you already so um, in addition to that there is electrical at the back you've got two connectors and two grounds that have to be disconnected um, we will show you those when I've got the uh, the bed pulled back but um, those have got to all come off once you've got that done next step you have to disconnect um, this from the truck with those bolts so this thing can slide back so we'll go ahead and get that off of there so pulling that uh, cap and you see you've got one two three bolts that will allow this neck to slide back I don't think we've got to take these part this part off um, I've seen other guys recommend that you pull that but I don't think you have to we're gonna try without it we'll let you know if it doesn't work all right guys we got the bed off it's very heavy so if you're planning on doing this yourself you're gonna have to use an engine hoist or something like that to get it off of there it took three of us to get it off um so there is the um, tank. And so here's the fuel pump assembly right there. We're gonna go ahead and get started on that. And then just so that you can see, now that we got this apart, um, here's the um, mounts. These are shims. You'll find these in the um, bed at various places. They need to go back where they were. When they fall out on the ground, um, they tend to land underneath uh, the one that they were on. So then you can put them back. So. Uh, those have to go back in as far as the electrical 
it's the the connector is on the driver's side you just connect that there is a um, ground on both sides and then you've got to disconnect if you've got a bumper you need to disconnect the bumper lights and pop any of the Christmas trees that are holding the uh, um, harness in so that the harness can go with the bed and um, it's actually pretty straightforward if you do all that and then you just move it back we've got it sitting on jack stands on the back there so we don't have quite enough room to take it all the way off at this point it is easy to get off you could take it completely out of the way um, if you needed to but uh, we just set it back here so all right next step let's pull the um uh ring on the fuel pump here we'll show you how that works yeah, yeah. okay guys these fuel lines so much better than ford um you just squeeze these right here and these little ears uh, disconnect so squeeze these and the ears come out and then the, the plugs just come undone so undo uh, one two fuel lines and two electrical connectors two seconds instead of two hours yeah uh, you don't have to do that one it's oh I'm sorry there's three never mind yes do that <laughs> <laughs> it looked like a stub but it's not it's an actual hose <laughs> there we go look at that it was, it was a little it was fuel pressurized, yeah. yeah. And we forgot to depressurize the fuel tank. If you forget to depressurize the fuel tank, that's what or the fuel lines, that's what happens. <laughs> but it's like 30 degrees here today, so there's no chance this fuel is going to vaporize and cause a problem. What's this one doing? There we go. Yeah, awesome. it is just that you just you got to get one of your fingers up underneath and then the other one on top of it and it'll slide right out. Okay. So a little bit different type of clip, clip than the other ones, but you still just squeeze it and out it comes. Okay, then those two electrical connectors. Ah, got it. Okay. So that's a little bit confusing, guys, but... You pull this little top part back and it unhooks and then yeah see that's what it's grabbing right there is that little piece so if you get that off of there then this just comes right off but you definitely want to pull that back first because that's normally slid forward okay wipe that up with that All right, so the uh, top of this thing, it's not a screw type like a lot of them are. It has a snap ring right here. So you need to actually compress that snap ring to get it to come out of there. There we go. Nice. Okay, so that comes off like that. Set that out of the way. And then this entire thing should just lift right out. And that fuel sock definitely has seen better days. guys so here's the new fuel pump it comes in a couple of different pieces um, this float has to be installed so basically the way that goes is just like this so that goes in right there and then this just clips in like that without dropping the fuel pump there we go just like that okay and we got a nice new fuel sock and all new fuel pump assembly everything's ready to go so we'll leave those on so that we don't get anything stuffed down in there and we'll go ahead and stuff this back into the tank Okay guys, there you go, look at that. We got it all in. We got the new snap ring in place. Um, it was fighting us a little bit, so we had to put the camera down, but it all went in together once uh, we could focus on doing that. But there you go, we got the snap ring in place, got this all in, so now we'll just go ahead and reinstall everything. Okay, in order for this to go back together, 
Um, we do need to pull the clips off of the old fuel pump. So we'll do that real fast. Okay, here's our old pump. And uh, we're gonna take these little clippies off of here. We already slid this one off. So let me show you how those come off just in case you need to. So you see these little ears right here? They are pushed down into this. So you just gotta pop the ear out like that. So that that side can pull out. And then the same on the, oops, it fell back in. Just pop it out like that. And then the same on the other side. And then they just slide it out. And then when they clip back in, this little ear will snap down over this little ring. The middle one doesn't have one because it's a different type. Beautiful. Nope, that, that one goes on there. See, it's the other type? Yeah. Okay, electrical. Oh, and see if that fits. It might not fit in there. Seems to fit. Seems fine. Just different models. Well, well there is a model that that doesn't fit and you've got to use the adapter that they gave you, but yeah, I thought yours was gonna it. fit when we ordered it. Yeah. Okay guys, got that all reinstalled and uh, that's ready to go. Before we put the bed back on it, we're gonna fire the truck up, make sure that it runs and that there isn't any kind of problem with that pump. All right, guys, we got the bed back in place. Um, we tried to start the truck and it wouldn't start, but we got to thinking about it and we're pretty sure that the ground for the fuel pump is actually at the back of the truck here. And those are of course disconnected because we had the bed off. So uh, we're hoping that that's all it is. It would make sense. It was obviously running before it came in here. Um, so we're gonna get the grounds all hooked back up, get the electrical reconnected, and then we'll try starting it before we bolt the bed down. So uh, trying that now. Okay, guys, so electrical's hooked back up. We're gonna go ahead and turn the key, see if we can hear the fuel pump. There goes the fuel pump. All right, so that's definitely the problem. Go ahead and fire it up, Luke, just make sure. You got it. Sweet, very nice. All right, excellent. Um, okay, so that's what it was. If you guys are doing yours, uh, won't work with the electrical disconnected on the bed. So you gotta have the bed hooked back up or a uh, jumper wire run for the ground. So uh, the right fuel pump here, grounds. The ground right here. Yeah, there's a ground right there on the frame, right over there, right over there on the frame. And um, it grounds the fuel pump through there. So, um, okay, that's it. Now all we gotta do is hook the, uh, um, the bed back down with the bolts and hook the um, gas tank back on and uh, she's all done, all right? All right, guys, that's it. She's all back together. Looking real good, runs great, nice new fuel pump. So hope you enjoyed that, hope it was helpful. Um, if you did, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Check out what we got, there's plenty of other stuff to go and um, uh, plenty of other stuff to look at and uh, check out our webpage for uh, the merchandise. We've got some pretty cool t-shirts and stuff. All right guys, thanks so much, peace. How to replace that actual, um, and then we'll show you how to fuel, and then we'll show you how to replace that. There's the new pump. And uh, we'll be